Hey everyone, it's Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and I am coming to you sharing something very real. Now, you hear that saying, do as I say, not as I do. And it's 100% true with me. Every month I try to share to back up your files at least once a month, and I have it in my calendar on the first of every month, and it I thought I had been. I thought I had been better about it. But this week has been a week of Mondays. Monday morning, I was working on my computer and I was trying to save a file and my external hard drive crashed. Done, not recoverable in anything that I can do. Um, I have tried with the company and received information back from them on the hard drive. It is dead, my hard drive is dead. Um, I could pay to have it recovered possibly, but when I look back on it, and this is so hard for me to say, I thought it was just since January, but when I got to looking at it, I had not actually backed up since September before I went to Italy. Now, I had done other backups of different things, and that must be what my mind tricked me into thinking that I had done. But I had not done a full backup of my entire external hard drive. And storage is one of those things that anything can fail. No matter what you use, anything can fail. Even if you're using the external hard drive like I use, if you're using your computer, your computer can crash. If you're using cloud-based storage, there have been cases where servers have been wiped out and data is lost. There's nothing out there that is 100% safe all the time. Multiple locations is your best bet. And I'm saying all of this as much to myself or more than I am you. But I wanted to share with you because I am real. Things happen to me. This is what it is. This is me. And I'm wanting to share that with you. I do have resources that will help you. Now, there are multiple ways you can back up things. Um, your photos, it's not just silhouette. Anything you create on your computer. Uh, and that's the main thing for me is all, all my blog posts, all the videos, all of that stuff. Now, there are certain sites that I can access some of that data from, but I will not never have all of it back. And I've had to come to terms with that. You know, it's, you, you hear all the stages of grief. Well, I have experienced all of that in this week. I am kicking myself over and over again. And finally, my husband said to me that, is it changing anything? Is it going to bring it back? And the answer is no. And it's my own fault. I fully admit that. And I've reached the point I am moving on. So I have to gather some of the data from other sources and pull it all together again. And in some cases, I'm just starting over with my data. But I have ordered backups and backups of my backups. And as soon as they arrive, I will be doing that process of backing up my data and making sure it's all backed up and listening to that calendar reminder that's in my phone every single month, if not more. Um, but I wanted to share with you on my website at silhouette-secrets.com, if you go to the A to Z silhouette category, that'll be the easiest way to find it. And if you scroll down, I have a menu of all A to Z topics and I add to this continuously, especially when users ask questions and I find out it's a hot topic then I can add a new keyword category here. If you go down to back up, I have several tutorials in there that I should have been following on a regular basis. Now I do follow them when I write the tutorial, I do it all so that I can share it. But obviously I didn't go back every single month and do the backup that I really, really needed to do. So I wanna share this with you. So I have a series here of the backups and when it opens, it's going to open into this organization series that I started. 
Now, I have different ways of backing things up, and here you'll see that I even link to the external hard drive that I use. This is not the one that failed. The one that failed was about four, maybe five years old. Would I still recommend an external hard drive? Yes, and that's actually what I'm going to get again is another external hard drive, but I will back it up and I have another backup on the way for that. So I will have many different backups. It's better to have more than less. And I learned that the hard way and it's only my own fault. So I wanna share this with you. So I have the organization series, you back up your photos, back up your library to your silhouette, um, in my case, that's not even the important part here. Um, and any of the files that you're creating outside or inside the Silhouette Studio software, um, any of your files that you download, download your fonts, download different things like that. Now, the great part about it is that I can go out to some of those sites and I can still download the, that information. Um, there's multiple sites out there that I use that are cloud-based and they store those in my account so I can go access those but I wanted to share this. So I'm also going to include links in the description below on very, very specific data on how you can organize and how you can back up your information. While this isn't the best of topic, I hope that it, you take the time to create your own backups and rather than kick that can down the road, do it now. Put it on your list, get it done, have your backups and don't go through what I just went through this week. It's my own fault and we're moving on. Fresh start and I can't wait to share more with you on silhouette-secrets.com. Thanks for joining me. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications of future mistakes. No, future tutorials, hopefully not all the mistakes, but future tutorials with Silhouette and more stuff to come. Thank you.